Hi everyone and welcome to our Vintage Boardwalk Tips and Tricks series. Today we're going to talk about our cording and we've updated our cording cutting list and this is available as a link at the bottom of our video. This is also available in a PDF format so you can print that out. So to start with, I just wanted to share with you, it does have the specific pages for both embroidery and if you're doing sewing you're going to want to click on the sewing version because they're different on different pages. All right, so to start out with, just a tip on when you're cutting your cording, your rope cording, you don't want to pull tight like this to cut it, just lay it out loose. And if it's laying freely, then you can make your cut exactly where you want it to be and it's going to be the right length. So just make sure you don't pull and stretch it as you're cutting that. And when you're tying your knots um, for your pier, you're going to want to um, I tie one end knot to start with because this does have a tendency to like to fray. So I take one end and then I place it where I want on my pier. And I'm going to pull this up right here. I'm going to pull this up so you can see right here. And that's where I'm going to place that. And then I'm simply going to kind of measure. And that's where I want my next knot to be. Then I take it back over over here and then I have that marked with my finger that's where I want my next knot to be so that's how I make sure that the knots end up right where I want them to be as I tie them as I go and I measure as I go and that way my knot ends up where I want it to be thank you so much for joining and I hope that's a helpful tip for you bye bye